Hamish mentioned and you voted for the Ragged Apron. Yeah. Would you like to tell people like basically what that is? What is the Ragged Apron? Yeah. So during lo- like my sister always used to bake a lot. And I like in the beginning, it was, I'm not going to lie, it was so shit. Like I remember going home <laughs> to Leicester once and I was hungry and my mom gave me some cake and I spat. I was like, well, who, where did you get this cake from? Why did you pay for this? And she's like, your sister made it. And I was like, oh shit. And then we like amused the idea and just humored her. And then it got better. And then it got to a point where people were asking, oh, can you make this? Can you make that? And then I was bored over lockdown. And I did a lot of internships in like marketing, advertising, social media anyway. I was like, let me, let me just make this into a business. And then it became a thing. It was just supposed to be fun. And it's been going on for like six months now. Okay. Like we have a logo and an Instagram page and meetings. And it's just become a thing. So. Meetings, really? What? Yeah, we sit down after work and we have like ragged apron meetings and Oh, I thought you meant with like investors or something like that, or like oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Lord Sugar or something. <laughs> no, I'm like, I work out all the prices and we write down everything expensive. Like, it's just a thing. Yeah. 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 So do did, did you have like any like passion for baking or anything? <laughs> I, I taste test. So there's always something and something going on. So today we were doing cake donuts and we're making like product shots for our Christmas box. <laughs> my my sister actually so the second person that hamish mentioned in that last question dana bakes that's my sister oh. so she's got like a baking kind of business going as well where she does like yeah cookies or cakes or donut cakes or whatever so uh yeah little little competition there she charges a lot though so if you want to undercut her yeah right. charge charge good <laughs> prices yeah i'm so Bad that I don't, I don't, as in I do pay for it sometimes, but I just get to eat all the leftover and then I'm like, <laughs> is it, is the business like split? So you help out with like the finances and social media or something? Do you get like profits? I told her she could keep the profit. I don't really care. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Has it been like growing? Uh, yeah, it's great. As in, it kind of like dipped because I was busy and she was busy. And then we were, then we picked up again like in the last two weeks. Cause then if I'm, entitled to have profits should be like you need to do this and you need to do this and i don't want to be held accountable i provide service if anyone gets like food poisoned you don't want to be i'm I'm not not here for that yeah is it something that you think will like you and your sister or even just your sister you'll like continue to like grow it yeah i definitely think it's something that's going to carry on i don't feel like if you're going to do something as a hobby you may as well make a little bit from it or at least not like make a loss so yeah yeah but is it something like even post lockdown you think you'll keep up? Yeah, I just, I feel like it's definitely growing as a business and it's kind of cool to have a, a name and an Instagram page and have something that you can call yours rather than just being like, oh yeah, I bet. Like it's a legit thing. Really quickly regarding marketing, if you're giving out free marketing advice, what's some free marketing advice for the third wheel? TikTok. It's like Instagram reels are like, <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. everybody's. <laughs> Because not many people are doing it. So if you do it and put it on Instagram, because Instagram Reels is really new, it puts you to the top of the Explore page. With the old algorithm, you would stay, your picture would stay on the Explore page for like weeks and weeks. And now it's really, really hard to go on the Explore page. But because Instagram Reels is like the new TikTok and not many people are doing it, it puts you to the top of the Explore page for weeks. Yeah, we've we've been told that by other people as well. But what, what, as a podcast, what could we do like as a reel? like a tiktok that's where the i think the trouble is what do you guys do on the ragged apron for like reels you do a close-up of like one brownie and then like so the other day we had like individual package samples because we give out samples and so i showed one sample and then you like film yourself putting it down when you zoom out there's like loads of samples and just to make it look aesthetically pleasing yeah i just feel like if you do like a little video a little snippet but instead of uploading it as a video upload it as a reel yeah I don't know. It'd have to be, I feel like it'd have to be a video from this like video chat. Do you know what I mean? Honestly, if anyone wants to do it on our behalf, holla at us and I'm sure we can sort <laughs> something out. <laughs> See, the problem is Hamish is a bit of a no face, no case kind of guy. Yeah. So that doesn't really work with you. You could just have like the third wheel, like the actual, um, like, you know, your Instagram page logo thing, like, and then you guys just talking in the background and then it like cuts to like promo music, like whatever theme music you guys use. Mm, interesting. So basically we have like two video settings. One is your sticker. One is my st- sticker. And every time you talk, we put it on your sticker. Every time I talk, we put it on my sticker. And then every time we both are talking or laughing over each other, we put both stickers. 
but it's legit like 15 seconds. Oh, shit. Is, is reels 15 seconds? Uh, it can be a lot for longer, but I feel like just, yes, yeah, like people has like attention span of like. Yeah, but that's cool anyway. We actually, one of our friends, you know, Z, Z Shen. Yeah. He, I, I saw he shared the uh, ragged apron, some like brownies he got from them. Yeah. This week, actually. So it's like a bit of a coincidence that we were recording at the same time. Wasn't he eating it when we were on the call with him? Yeah, yeah. He was eating, eating a brownie as well at the same time. What was his real review? Oh, he, he said it was shit. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, no, no, he said it was really good. He said it was like uh, really gooey because he asked for it to be gooey. Yeah. When I do that, I eat brownies and cake or like frosting for breakfast every single day. I'm not even joking. I've done that once before. I've eaten cake in the morning. I know, you know what? I eat cake in the morning, to be honest. I eat it usually after someone's birthday because there'll be cake for the morning. I'm like, obviously, I'm going to have it in the morning. It doesn't, sit, it doesn't sit well with me, but, you know, it's just so nice to have a cake in the morning. And then you can feel shit afterwards about losing your productivity because you just ate something so bad. I remember reading somewhere that cake for breakfast is actually good. Or oh, is it? The sugar, like, does make your metabolism first thing in the morning. Yeah, it's better than eating it in the evening, in a way. Yeah. Eating it oh. first thing in the morning is better than eating it in the evening. I have such a sweet tooth. I always, like, eat chocolate or cake or something sweet first thing in the morning. There is no way. Can you explain to me how a sweet tooth works? Because I don't understand when people say they have a sweet tooth, I don't know what that means. I tried Googling it. I didn't understand what Google was trying to tell me. You just like crave sugar. Yeah. It just means you, you like sweet food. Yeah. 